here's a lovely tea that's enjoyed by so many hibiscus. Um, and it's beautiful pink, lemony floral flavor, right? And you can enjoy it. It's, it's a healthy, safe tea to be drinking. But does it really help to lower blood pressure? Because this is one of its main attributes, colds and flus, digestive issues. It has a wide range of applications, but definitely lowering high blood pressure is one of its key signatures. And there's actually two different kinds of hibiscus plants. One is hibiscus rosa sinensis, translates as China rose, not in the rose family at all. And the other is hibiscus sabdorifera. And that is this variety that comes from Africa. It's sometimes also called rosella. Now these plants are used interchangeably. And as it turns out, studies are confirming that both are very, very good for lowering high blood pressure. One of the most um, uh, interesting studies has shown that drinking three cups of hibiscus tea daily significantly lowered blood pressure. Another study of hibiscus sabdorifa, right? Because Rosa sinensis, that variety has been very widely studied. Rosa um, sabdorifa, not as much, but they are used interchangeably and they are commonly found to have very similar properties and studies are backing that up as they continue to study both plants. But a study specifically of Rosella, the sabdorifa variety, um, showed that it lowered blood pressure even as effectively as some antihypertensive drugs without any of the side effects. So this could be a great plant for you to know about if you're suffering from high blood pressure. In traditional Chinese medicine, TCM, we uh, define some of the properties we attribute to hibiscus, either of the plants, is its ability to clear toxins, transform phlegm, and by phlegm we don't just mean congestion in the nasal passages, right? We mean gunk that can clog up arteries, right? Cause digestive issues, urinary tract infections, a wide range of, of applications here, and promote body fluids. So proper body fluids, proper blood pressure, unclogged arteries, heart healthy, right? So both ends of the spectrum, Western and Eastern, support this plant's extraordinary ability for lowering high blood pressure safely. Um, and generally they say even a minimum of one cup of tea a day for six weeks significantly improved blood pressure. So if you've got blood pressure issues or you wanna prevent them and you know somebody who might have an issue with this, what nicer way to support your health than with a lovely cup of hibiscus tea? Hope you'll join us for more information about this plant in our Healing of Health session on hibiscus. There's a lot to discover and a lot of interesting history behind this plant that you may have just been passing by in your grocery store. Come join us. I look forward to connecting with you.